Welcome to Toffee TV. We're here to talk about this fella, Ross Barkley. Uh, I asked for people on Twitter to give us some subjects to talk about. He was one. And it's whether or not there's a place for him in our midfield for next season. Big question is though, Baz, does he like Jaffa Kicks? That's the big question. That is the big question. And that potentially should have been used on our other video. That we're going also, to and would and he dip off, off That's my thing. <laughs> don't dip it in mine. You don't dunk Jaffa Cakes. And would, not in other people's would drinks. You, would you dip Jaffa Cakes in Black Couldn't? No. no. You wouldn't dip it in anything. You would. Luke, have a, if Luke would you dip a Jaffa Cake in, in, in a cup of coffee? Absolutely not. That's criminal. He's a weird. That's, that's criminal. Well, in, Luke. You can't do that. They go, to Hol- they go to Hollywood and just become weird. <laughs> It happens. Oh, well, it like you're eating Jaffa cake. Are you gonna answer the question? Let Luke, uh, let, let Luke, you, you eat your Jaffa cake. Guess. Luke. Yeah. Ross Barkley. Yeah. First and foremost, what are your thoughts on as a as a player before we get on to the, the bigger picture? I love him. I okay. love Ross. He's local lad, you know, he's played for his, all his life. And I, you know, I love Ross Barkley. You want him to stay? Yeah, absolutely, of course yeah. I do, yeah, of course yeah. I do. Uh, I think the whole contract thing's odd, a little bit yeah. weird that he's not signed. But you know he's he's a he's a great player and he's you know he supports Everton so I, I, that's why I want him to stay. Ross Barkley. Uh, I City seen a video race. before, right, on on Twitter, and someone put a video of him, and it was in like his early days, like the knowledge game. Oh, yeah. And you know when you're watching him then, and you're watching him like against Newcastle, the goal he scored. Where's that Ross Barkley gone? Like I know he's like matured, and I know he has got better under Ronald Koeman his defensive side and all that. But where's that side of him gone? The attacking. And do you know what? Do, do you know where I actually feel like it might have might have disappeared? Remember when he he got, he got called up for England and Roy Hodgson was in charge and Roy Hodgson was bogging him because he wasn't tracking back and, yeah, and I don't yeah. know and I remember saying at the time being like don't he doesn't need this <laughs> and I'm not saying since then he's become a different player mm. but where's that gone? Like there's that little spark. I was watching him before and he's he's getting in, he's giving it, he's getting out of his feet and he's taking a shot and whether the shot was going rose head or, or in the back of the net, he had that little something about him. He was always on the move, he was always going into space. And now every time he gets the ball it's stop, let's have a little look. And I know that it I know it would help if you had maybe had better plays around and better movement. But I just think that instinct of Ross Barkley's gone somewhere and I don't yeah. I can't really put my finger on why he's done it do you think it because remember Hodgson come out did mm. he and said he was too careless with the ball and he's got to protect yeah. the ball more so do you think that's got in his head so he's, his decision making now is I'm not giving you it unless I'm sure it's going to get I there. think I honestly do think the England thing may have caused that little bit of a problem where you went that you're right because he's now now he is looking for the perfect pass mm. all the time and that's that's counterintuitive to how he plays football. Yeah, he's yeah. off the cuff. He's a street mm. player. Yeah. We 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 bemoan the fact that there's not as many of those left in football uh, because of all the coaching. And you just yeah. yeah I just so going back to your original question. <laughs> if he was to leave, it would be sad for all the reasons Luke just said. Being an Evertonian, being a local lad, being a talent. But quite frankly, as a footballer at the moment, I don't know where his career is going. And I don't know if the manager cares enough yeah. to, to guide him that way he's going. Because he's almost like, as we say it all the time, Koeman's like, I'm on a time schedule here, I, don't, I can't wait for you. Mm. And I don't know whether Ross has got enough going on upstairs to dictate his own career. You know, you look at someone like uh, Wayne Rooney, who people think he's thick, but he just grabbed hold of his career and went, I'm doing whatever I need to yeah. do and I'm I know what I need to do. Maybe that's what Ross thinks he's doing at the moment and if he is then fair enough. But it is a bit of a mess and like we said about Romelu Lukaku, it just needs to be sorted out. Yeah. I mean it does it's not helping anyone this is it's dragging yeah. on. You know, we the manager came out um after the Arsenal game the last game of the season and said we're gonna sit down and we'll make a statement. No sit down tomorrow we'll make a statement don't think he meant make the statement the next day but yeah. people jumped on to that yeah. but that was a, that was what four weeks ago now Yeah, is it something yeah. like that yeah. it's coming up Arsenal yeah. 23rd yeah so four weeks we're no further we're no further on are we with it or, or certainly to us we're, yeah. you know they may be yeah. behind the scenes they might be further on to us we're no further on how important is it that this is like Peds just said resolved one way or the other Certainly within the next two weeks, the players are back a fortnight today. So, how important do you think it is, Luke, that it's 
it's done quickly. I think it's really important because you know he is a he is a key player. Everyone talks about Ross Barkley in our squad. You know whether being good or bad, everyone talks about him. You know, yeah. so I think it is important that this gets resolved just for us moving forward as well. Mm. If you stay in, stay great. We'll get behind you. And if you go in, then go. But just make the decision. Yeah. You know, mm. and that might not be down to him. It might be his agent. But it, it definitely needs to be sorted out. ASAP. Well, ultimately, you'd like to think it was down to him, wouldn't you? Do you know what yeah. I mean? I know. You know, you li- we live in an era of a uh, super agents and all this, but you'd like to think that he is leading the, he is leading the, co- or someone in his family is leading the conversation. You yeah. know, there's more, more someone who's behind the scenes going, "Hang on, that's is this yeah. right for his career? Is that is is he going the right way?" I, if Ross Barkley feels like he's got to leave the club to further his development, then I've got no problem with that. Mm. Honestly, got no problem with that. I think he's. I think he's a talented lad, but it's, he just seems to be going down the wrong path. As much as we don't want him to be, he just seems like he's going. He's going down there. Is he? And pe- a lot of people that he, he can't. I don't. I don't want to say polarizes people because I think most Evertonians mm. like him. There's, there's a section who I don't have time for him. Yeah. But we're hearing him talked about moving to Chelsea, moving mm. to Tottenham, to Manchester United. If he's good enough for all them three, mm. why is he not good enough for us who, who aren't at their level? Well, maybe because they see a way of using him. Like we've said this before, like Tottenham, they could get him and just go boink and drop yeah. him into their team. And I think he'd have he'd have a, a better understanding of yeah. how he needs to work because he would only have to worry about himself because everything yeah. else is it's sorted probably, out. Yeah. Everything else, no, you just have to watch maybe you know Ericsson play and try and sort of be a substitute for that. Substitute being the word. <laughs> um, and maybe other teams you do that as well whereas yeah. Everton all the pieces are not there at the moment so maybe so maybe over reliance on him I don't think we're over reliance on him I just think that if we what's funny to me is that we're looking at the Gerard Delafeu situation at the moment and he's just been at AC Milan who for us they're like they're like huge mm. they're not like, they're not there at the moment yeah. but they're a huge football club yeah. and now just so, well now it looks like he's going back to Barcelona and there's talk that he doesn't want to go back to Barcelona because he wants to play all the time for Milan because he wants to get out. And the reaction from us is, huh. you know, it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. we're all just like, yeah, okay, sound. And you just wonder whether if Ross wasn't that local lad, whether we'd all be the same like yeah. that. Maybe we just, I, I don't know, it's, it's all, it's, those two situations are strange because yeah. I just feel yeah, like yeah, yeah. on one side, a lot of us are pulling for Ross and we really, we yeah. really want to do, and maybe that's, it sounds stupid maybe we all see a little bit of ourselves in him I know that might be a little bit you know going a little bit far but you know what I mean no because he is a local local lad we all we all pin our hopes and dreams you root for him don't you it's not just that though I think it's a it's a matter of pride as well because if you sell your local players I think there's a tinge of embarrassment as a as a fan because you start thinking well if we're selling that this might be old Everton within us and we're all we've all still got on that as much as we don't want to. <laughs> we're all still we're all still yeah. worried about every deal yeah, and we all yeah. were, and we just you know everything the stadium we all we're all thinking this is that world heritage thing is going to pull the plug on this stadium. That's what we're all thinking. Let's be honest. And I, I just think that there's a little bit of that as well. Fans are like, well, if we sell him, that's that's embarrassing. It's messy. Yeah. We're a selling yeah. club then, yeah. and we're selling oh, our yeah. own. I so agree. I think, but purely football teams, if he leaves the club. Then I think Ronald Koeman will just be thinking, well, I've, I've done as much as I need to do, you know, because that's the thing, isn't it? Does Koeman want him? Well, I think that, he, you know, there's rumours today, and I don't know whether these are unfounded or, you know, it's accurate, but we've had a bid turned down for Brozovic in Milan, who's a attacking midfield player. So we've got Davy Klassen in through the door. We're linked heavily with Gilfie Sigurdsson. Mm. We've had now apparently had a bid for Brozovic, uh, so that all, you know, where does where does Ross fit in? If if the manager so you know, is this Ronald Koeman saying, like, I've give you enough time now to make your decision. You yeah. haven't told me whether you want to stay, so therefore I'm going and getting him, and I'm getting him, and I'm getting him. If you want to stay, great, but look who's in front of you now because you haven't said to me yet. Pass me the pen. I want to sign. I just, I just can't work out how they won't know what's going on. Mm-hmm. I just don't, I just don't get it. I don't get how they would not know what he's doing. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I feel like by now they must know. Mm. And 
if he's not signed, or he might have signed, but as it goes now, he's not. Yeah. And we're getting people in in his position. Do you know what I mean? That, I mean, that's it the, means it's showing signs that he might be going. Yeah. I mean, that, 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 that is the biggest. I suppose that is the biggest indicator, mm. isn't it, with who you're going after? I think what's what's funny though, what the point you've brought up about uh, Sigurdsson coming in and giving him competition. Well, if he signs for any of those clubs above us. He's got competition anyway. Yeah. So it's yeah. whether he, it's where you know, if he thinks, if he thinks Sigerson's coming in and breathing down his neck and he thinks that's a sign, well, how, how does that work if he goes to Spurs and yeah, he's got yeah. Ericsson there, yeah. you know, or, or even um, Lee or, you know, if he went anywhere. Well, oh, yeah, okay then, let me put it there. Are you surprised that we are still being linked with the likes of Brozovic and stuff and no, Sigerson? Because the manager well. obviously wants them. That, this is what I like about this, what's happening at the moment. No one's standing still. No one's waiting for that decision yeah, to yeah, be made. Yeah. They've all gone on holiday. Koeman's obviously, you know, don't, leaving Walsh and, and Mishiri and whoever to do the business. Contract Dave. Contract Dave, yeah. Like, but like you just said, Luke, if it might, it, you know, it, he, the ultimatum has been made. And just because... He hasn't reacted. Doesn't mean the club are not thinking. Well, we give you the we give you the ultimatum. You didn't come back to us. Therefore, you are for sale. Yeah. You know, you might you might think you're for sale, or you might want to be for sale, or you might even know you're for sale. But you are for sale now because we made that ultimatum. And therefore, if you are for sale, we have to buy a replacement. Mm -hmm. And if that's, no, the that's way, what I'm saying. And if that's yeah, the way the club are working, then that that's is fine, isn't it? We've caught yeah, up with course. the 20th century, I, I think, and the 21st century. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think you, you made a really important point there about probably what's deep rooted within us. Now we've had so long of we've had so long of being. I don't want to play a stand, but being unable to compete money-wise, unable to have that plan, and all of our plans were always made around. Well, you know, if we sell him, we'll be able to buy him. Then yeah, it was yeah. never. Well, we don't want to sell him, but we want to buy him as well. It was always one or yeah. the other. And I think you're right. Maybe this is it is the sign of we're not standing still. It's the sign of we're, we're going after these targets. And and great if you stay great, but if you but not bothered if we sell you. Because yeah. we're getting him and him and him, yeah. and I suppose, like that, I suppose it will become more like you just said about Delafe. You, you'll become almost ambivalent to it all in the end. You'll kind of go, "Oh yeah, he's a good player, but we're buying him." Yeah, so yeah. all right, see, you, you've done well for well, us, and off you go. And I, so, I suppose you know, the only, I'm trying to think who I can compare it with. And this might be a fair comparison, but look at like when Welbeck left United mm, yeah. and went to Arsenal he went to a competitor yeah, yeah. they sold him because they did. They had no room Matter, for him yeah. Yeah. Matter to, uh, yeah. United you know these things happen mm. you know clubs sell because they feel like well we, we, we don't we don't need that player anymore and we're not really asked if you have them either yeah, yeah. And, and I suppose that's what happens I mean they, mm. you know with some of Italian players that happens all the time in Italy players go, you know Pirlo went from Inter Milan Matter. to AC Milan and yeah, then to Juventus yeah. and it's not you can't always wear it as a as a badge of rejection or a, a criticism of your club. It's just how football works. If you just because he's not needed with us doesn't mean someone else won't take a punt on him because he, he is a good player. Yeah, he but if he good. doesn't if he doesn't fit in to what Ronald Koeman wants, you know, Gerard Delafeu is a good player, but if he doesn't fit in to what the manager wants, you know, then see you later. <laughs> yeah, I mean, suppose it, it, you're right. I suppose as we go forward, we have to get used to that. We're in a, we're operating on a different level now, and I think yeah. this is probably evidence of that. Yeah. Well, five years yeah. ago, this would be a massive, massive two years ago, two, yeah, two years massive, ago. massive deal. But I think now it, it was talking mm. about not being. I mean, not forced, but like yeah. going. There's other options. Is a sign of how we're moving forward. Yeah. Yeah. Would you keep him? Yeah. Want him yeah, to stay? Yeah, mm -hmm. I do, of course. Yeah. I, I want him to stay. But what another thing I would say is though is that a couple of years ago it was um, Everton was selling Stones and they were selling Lukaku and they were sell selling Barkley. But now people are going, well, Barkley might leave Everton, but it's not like we're, you know yeah, what I mean? The narrative switched. switched. Yeah. We're selling him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're yeah, not. Yeah. We're not. He's, he's not, not leaving us. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, that's yeah. that. That that's an important switch in 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 yeah. terms of how we are, we are looked at and, and perceived. Because if people look at it like that, then people can stop worrying. And if players go, they go, they go, and players come and go. We will have to expect that. If we are to become the club we want to be, 
we'll see that a lot yeah. and we'll see more, we'll have more mercenaries knocking, yeah, yeah, knocking yeah. at the door and yeah. you know you'll have yeah. to yeah. give more people birthday cakes when it's the birthday and you know all those little <laughs> things that keep uh, yeah. foreign players or, or even yeah. Yeah. you know happy you'll have to start tolerating people diving like Phil Neville and then um, oh Phil Neville again yeah. There you go. There you have it. Would you keep him? Let us know in the comments section below. We, us three, would keep him definitely. But is it a sign that Everton are progressing? Moving on. I think it is. Let us know in the comments section below. We see you soon on Trophy TV.